Okay. Uh, do you do you do you find that you get any support from other pastors? Not not from the people, but from men of God. If you're not feeding me, financing me, I'm fucking me. I really don't care. Let me let me tell you about other pastors. Uh huh. I don't get it invited, even when I had the big building. I don't get invited because to churches because I'm a radical. I've exposed a lot of preachers on my shows over the years. Frankie Ray and all them boys. Um, so I'm not held in high esteem in the pastoral groups. I'm not a member of any minister groups or anything of that nature. I have friends, or they call themselves my friends, um, where we go out to eat, we go out to drink, but you dare not let me up in your church because you are fearful of what the other group of guys are going to say. And I'm not in a position where I need any pastors okay. When I had the physical building, I didn't ask anybody permission. When I organized, and the name of the truth, church is the Naked Truth, Liberation and Empowerment Ministries. I didn't ask nobody's permission. I didn't go to Brother Pastor, do you think this is a good idea? I did it on my own. I used my own money. So I really don't give a damn about what other pastors really think. Would I like to go sometimes and associate with the brethren other than setting up at the bar where they, they are? Yes. Would I like to come and speak to their congregations? Yes. But I'm I'm pretty much better by the, the Muslims than I am the Baptist folk and the Church of God and Christ folk. So, brother, I, you know, I don't have time to waste thinking about what other pastors do and what other pastors think about me. You know, I I, I often hear you speak about. You must, you must watch me a lot, don't you? Do you think I would be sitting down talking to you if I didn't watch you? Oh, I, I find you to be a very, very fascinating human being. I do. Um, you you don't share the opinions and the thoughts of many, and that's okay. But. This was a conversation that I really wanted to have because I, I, I truly want to at least understand, uh, you know, religion, religion, Christianity. Uh, it, you know, it, 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 it is for many people. The word is the word is the word. It ain't going to change for you and it ain't going to change for me. Mm -hmm. I have seen you go against many of. The, the the common thoughts that we've all been brought up with mm -hmm. and uh, hold on to your truth. So yes, I do watch you to answer your question. But uh, that being said, how you often speak about pastors mm -hmm. either looking at women in their congregation or sleeping with women in their congregation. Yes. Is that just something you saying or do you find that to be the truth Amongst that world. Brother, what, how old did I tell you I was when I started? 16? 66. Okay, but I started at 16. I've been, man, I've been everywhere where preachers are. You know, it's like you could be setting up. In my younger days when I was pastoring Baptist, 
you sit up in the middle seat and it's offering time and uh, you say, who that, who that woman right there? Oh, you can't bother her. That's the king's meat. You do know what the terminology means, doesn't you? Uh, no. Educate, educate, uh, educate us all. What, what do you mean by that? The king's meat is, that's my, my woman. I'm fucking her. That's my woman. You got bedrooms in churches now. Okay. This, this old thing, look around your church. See how many children in your church look like your pastor. Got the same old big old head, just like your pastor. He looks just like your pastor. Preachers are men, brother. Didn't fall from heaven. They're not angelic. They have the same wants and desires as any man. I tell men that'll come to me and say, God is taking the taste for a woman out of my mouth. I said, well, good. There's, there's some tastes I ain't asked God to take from me. I said, but brother, let me tell you this. If you don't like a big booty woman, nine times out of 10, you're like a big booty boy. So don't come to me with that hypocritical stuff of you don't like a woman. You know, and, and, and yes, friends, it goes on in the church. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video.